Hi, this is Rebecca Johnson with Be the Change, Change the World, and tonight I want to talk to you really quickly about gratitude. This right here is my little gratitude journal. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's a little Moleskin journal. It's made with great quality. You can Google M O L S K I N E, M O L E S K I N E doesn't really matter what you use, I just happen to really like the, these books. And they also have a cool little pocket in the back that you can store things in, save things, add little mementos. So this is my gratitude journal and I write in it once a day. And I write whatever fits on the page. So just kind of make my list. For example, I will read you couple little quick entries. Number three on May 14th, 2010, getting frozen custard with my dad, Ezra, that's my little boy, and Jared, my cousin. Um, another one, the beautiful red rocks in southern Utah. May 9th, sending my mom tulips, eating Merritt scones even though they aren't healthy. Uh, my hypnosis, my new hypnosis CD. Uh, Ezra falling asleep in his car seat. Recognizing something that I'm really struggling with. A um, couple more quick ones. Reading a book last night with Ezra. Going to a movie with my brother. Making rainbow jello. Getting a massage. These are all some things that I random things that I've entered in my gratitude journal. But I make a habit of each day taking time to think about the things I'm most thankful for that day. This is part of creating a, a mentality of gratitude. It trains your mind to look for the positive and look for the things in your life that you can be grateful for. And it raises your energetic vibration to get in a habit of doing that. So I highly recommend the art and practice of gratitude, and I highly recommend making it a habit. And it takes something like 21 days to make a habit. It takes me a little longer. I usually go for a month, but I pretty much got the gratitude journal down. And the coolest benefit from it, one is kind of like really cool to be able to go back and look at what I've written over the months and and it always brings a smile to my face because I get to relive something that I was already grateful for in the moment. But the biggest thing is that I'm kind of always in the back of my mind on the lookout for what's going to go in my journal. And I can't think of a better way to develop the habit of being grateful. And I, I can see myself in this video while I'm talking to you, which is kind of weird. But I see my little t-shirt. And I got this t-shirt when I went to visit one of my great friends who I went to grad school with. She happens to live in Manhattan. And I was able to see her when I was out in New Jersey for a conference a couple weeks ago. And we went to this great bakery called the Magnolia Bakery, which you can't see it because that's on the back. But they have famous, world-famous cupcakes. And my friend Annie took me there. And just seeing that little emblem on my shirt right now, making me really happy and grateful so I thought I'd share that and that's the end of my gratitude video I hope that you will take this up if you're not already doing it have a great day thank you